All right, so after World War II, there was an operation called Operation Paperclip where the United States got together all of the brilliant engineers from Germany that were Nazis, SS Nazi members, and they brought them to the United States. And instead of charging them with crimes or throwing them in prison, they had them work with the United States to invent a lot of things because we were so concerned about Russia and everything Russia was doing. Now, there was a man named Werner von Braun who was brought over who was very critical in the inventing of the rocket. Now, Warner became friends with Walt Disney, and that's a whole nother story, but he was, like I said, a major component in the invention of the rocket. Warner not only mentioned the firmament on his gravestone, his gravestone has Psalm 191 on it, but his secretary has some very interesting things to say about him. Please check this video out of Werner von Braun's secretary. Good morning, my name is Carol Rosen. In 1974, after being a sixth grade school teacher, I was introduced to the late Dr. Werner von Braun in the U.S., the father of rocketry. In my first meeting with him during that first three and a half hours, he said to me, Carol, there is a lie being told to everyone that the weaponization of space is now first being based upon the evil empire, the Russians. There are many enemies, he said, against whom we're going to build the space-based weapon system, the first of whom was the Russians, which was existing at that time. Then there would be terrorists. Then there would be third world countries. Now we call them rogue nations or nations of concern. Then there would be asteroids. And then he would repeat to me over and over, and the last card, the last card, the last card would be the extraterrestrial threat. She's been going around the world now for 25 years exposing this. Listen to her in another speech. The strategy that Werner von Braun taught me was that first the Russians are going to be considered to be the enemy. In fact, when I met him in 74, they were the enemy, the identified enemy. We were told that they had killer satellites. We were told that they were coming to get us and control us, the dirty commies, that whole story. First, the Russians were the enemy against whom we're going to build space-based weapons. Then terrorists would be identified. Then we were going to identify third world country crazies. We now call them nations of concern. And the next enemy was asteroids. Now at this point, he kind of chuckled the first time he said it. Asteroids against asteroids were going to build space-based weapons. So it was funny then. And the funniest one of all was against what he called aliens, extraterrestrials. That would be the final card. And over and over and over during the four years that I knew him and was giving his speeches for him, he would bring up that last card. And remember, Carol, the last card is the alien card. We're going to have to build space-based weapons against aliens. And all of it, he said, is a lie. What we need to understand is everything that they do, everything that we see, everything that happens has been planned by the elites to keep us distracted, lie to us, keep us stupid, and keep us in the dark. That's just what they do. But the truth is coming out. God is real. I love you all. This is for your entertainment. Hit follow.